film censorship dates back to uh, 1897 statute of Maine that banned the showing of prize fight films. Ten years later, the city of Chicago enacted the very first film censorship ordinance, which allowed the chief of police to watch all films and verify them before being shown to the public. Soon after, many other cities and states began to follow the lead of Chicago by starting local censorship boards. This nationwide effort to censor films finally led to the Supreme Court case Mutual Film Corporation v. Industrial Commission of Ohio. The ruling of the case was that films were not considered an art and therefore were not covered by the First Amendment. In the years following, local, city, and state censorship boards were allowed to edit films in any way they saw as appropriate or even ban the film completely. It wasn't until 37 years later when the ruling was overturned during the Supreme Court case of Joseph Burstein Incorporated v. Wilson, also known as the Miracle Decision. In 1896, Thomas Edison's groundbreaking film, The Kiss, made its first appearance in America. This film included a kiss that lasted about 20 seconds and was criticized for being absolutely disgusting and a threat to morality. Eleven years following the release of this film is when Chicago made the first film censorship law, as mentioned before. Despite there not being any strict national guidelines or censors for films before the Hays Code, the film producers risked heavy backlash from audiences when releasing any violent or sexual movies. For example, in 1914, the Women's Christian Temperance Union claims that these new movies are addictive and cause people to enact crime. In addition to The Kiss, there were many other films released before The Hayes Code that suffered harsh criticism including Unashamed and Blonde Venus, which both included sexual innuendos, The Common Law, which ridiculed and redefined what society thought of marriage, The Bitter Tea of General Yen and The Emperor Jones, which crossed ethnic lines and ignored racial barriers that society was accustomed to and the political corruption shown in Gabriel over the White House. But the most controversial movie of all time, D.W. Griffith's The Birth of a Nation, released in 1915, tells the story of two Civil War era families from both sides of the Mason-Dixon line, while including the glorification of the KKK and the theory of African Americans being demons. The release of all of these films and more that received extremely harsh criticism and backlash from audiences led up to the threat of governmental censorship in the late 1920s. To avoid this, Hollywood eventually decided that writing their own code would be a much better option than having one enforced by the government. This was the start of the Hayes Code. The Hayes Code, also known as the Motion Picture Code, was led by former Postmaster General William H. Hayes. Hayes and the MPAA created the Don'ts and Be Carefuls to censor movies. Most filmmakers ignored it. I mean, even back then, they got an adrenaline rush from not conforming to the law.